The tax cut package has passed. You're planning to sign it, I assume? Correct, yes, yeah. Very excited about the tax cut package. Uh, a lot of similarities to what we proposed. A couple things are different, but overall we feel like this is a great win for Utahns. The food tax is part of that, but the food tax wouldn't come off until 2025 if voters approve of changing the Constitution. Do you support it being I guess, delayed down the road like that rather than taking effect right away? Yeah, well, I, I do because of the, the need to make that constitutional change. And we can only do that in, in an even number of years. So 2024 is when, when we can vote on it as, as the people of Utah. Um, and I hope that people will support that. I would love to see the tax come off of food, the state portion of that tax, something I've supported for a long time. It's about $200 million. And, and then it will benefit everyone in Utah, especially the, the, the poorest amongst us. I mean, everybody has to eat. Not everybody pays the income tax, but everybody pays the food tax. And so I think this is a, a, a wonderful bill, and, and I'm very hopeful that the people of Utah will vote for this next year. We have heard from people who would like it to take effect right away as they're yeah. dealing with food prices right now and wonder why perhaps the state didn't spend some of its extra money to let it take effect now versus down the road. Thoughts on that? Sure. Well, well there's, a, there's a real reason that we can't do that, and that is that um, we have an imbalance in the way that we collect funds in the state of Utah. And, and that imbalance matters because we have this constitutional prohibition that only income tax can be used on certain things, not everything else. The food tax goes into the general fund which has less restrictions and so if you take that away from the general fund then we don't have enough money for roads and some of the other things that we need out there and so we've got to have this constitutional piece as well and it makes sense to put those together. So overall, for people saying, what can help me right now, what would you point to that would help them today dealing with inflation, things yeah. like that? Yeah, so, so, so there are several things that will help today. Um, first of all, a huge income tax cut, which is really important, about $400 million in income tax reductions. Uh, we, we have a couple other pieces that we're excited about. We've just been watching, kind of pushing to get through, and that's an additional child tax credit that will help families. Um, so that's something we've been pushing for. We also have an additional additional tax credit for newborns, um, so for, for children that are born in our state. Uh, that's another one that we've been pushing for. We're also rolling back the Social Security tax. So now that anybody, uh, after this year, anybody who makes less than $75,000 a year will not pay any taxes on their Social Security. So those are all pieces that are going to help Utahns in, in major ways. Lastly, changing the Constitution adjusts funding mechanisms in there. For those who worry that doing that will hurt public education at the expense of the food tax, what would you say as voters kind of think ahead to 2024 and, and casting a vote one way or the other on that? Yeah, what, what I would say is that I have never seen that, um, that guardrail or that prohibition that exists now ever get any additional money to, to education. Um, the legislature has always found ways around it, and, uh, and so I, I think that's why this is so important. My, my point being, we're going to have record funding for education, whether that happens or not um, this year. It's a, it's a huge year for education. Uh, I, I'm hoping that we will get some, that's still being negotiated over the, the next year, what some guardrails will, will look like to make sure that we keep funding for education as a priority. But we can do both of those things. I, I really feel confident that we can do both of those things. And, and I, we have a governor that is committed to, uh, to education funding. We have legislators that are committed to education funding. And that has been true throughout history. I, I mean, we really do prioritize uh, education first, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. And, and I don't think this constitutional change will make any difference on how much funding actually goes to education. Anything else on tax cuts or the food tax specifically? No, just that, again, I, I hope people realize that something really remarkable is happening this year. We're going to have record education funding um, this year. We're going to have record spending on infrastructure, and we're going to have record ta tax cuts, more than, uh, more than double, close to triple the largest tax cut Utahns have ever received. Uh, that, that happens because we have an amazing economy and because we've been very frugal with how we've spent money in the past. Uh, we continue to be rated as the, uh, as the best state for fiscal responsibility, and uh, that, that continues here. And so I think the, the people of Utah can be really proud about what the legislature is doing, watching their pocketbooks and being smart about how they're using this money. Thanks, Governor. Thank you. Appreciate it.